Hey guys, thanks for joining me here today on Feature Junkie. My name's Ed, and today we're going to be talking about the new movie, The Banshees of Inish Aaron, directed by Martin McDonough, starring Colin Farrell, Brandon Gleeson, Barry Kinahem, and Carrie Condon. So right now, IMDb has this movie as an 8.1 out of 10, Rotten Tomatoes has this as a 97%, and Metacritic has this as an 87 out of 100. I've got a few things to say about this film, but before I do, if you could leave a like down below, I'd greatly appreciate that. Now let's get into the plot courtesy of IMDb. Set on a remote island off the west coast of Ireland, the Banshees of Inish Aaron follows lifelong friends Padraig, played by Colin Farrell, and Colm, played by Brandon Gleeson, who find themselves at an impasse when Colm unexpectedly puts an end to their friendship. A stunned Pederic, aided by his sister, Serum, played by Carrie Conum, and troubled young islander, Dominic, played by Barry Conum, endeavors to repair the relationship, refusing to take no for an answer. But Pederic's repeated efforts only strengthens his former friend's resolve when Colum delivers a desperate ultimatum. Events swiftly escalate with shocking consequences. So right off the top, I just want to tell you guys that I've been trying to see this film for two months now. Um, when it first came out, it was holding a 99% um, review rating um, on Rotten Tomato for the longest. So that had me hooked on like, dang, like this movie must be good. But for some reason, none of the theaters around me um, were playing the movie. Um, and finally, now it is out on HBO Max. And obviously, I got to see the movie. And after watching it and going into this review, I can tell you guys, this is probably one of the hardest reviews I've had to do. Um, just because this film has just unlocked so many emotions that I didn't even know could be there. It's a very unorthodox yet beautiful poetic story of two friends, one who decides for no reason at all, they no longer like the other one, and for no reason at all, they no longer want to be friends with the other one. And it's a story of how it's actually really hard to come to grips with that, and weirdly enough, it triggers a deep reflection upon yourself. Like I have friends, but two of them I consider to be my best of friends. And if one of them for no reason at all, no longer wanted to be friends with me anymore, um, I would feel just as shocked as Pedrick did. Colin Farrell and Brendan Gleeson do an amazing job displaying their chemistry through this film. Like it's award level winning acting here. And even with it being a slow paced Irish film, they get you to pull for these characters um, that some way, somehow they can reunite and become best friends again. But just as the plot summary says, there are indeed shocking consequences that come from this bitter rivalry. Now visually, the Inish in the island is just breathtaking. The colors of the green fields, the crashing blue waves of the ocean, the small town village were just all perfect and the film does a great job tying that in with the story. And this is a very touching film that I guarantee is very unpredictable. Like I said before, I think there's going to be some that find the pacing slow, but if you just really dive into the film, man, there are just some beautiful lessons to be learned. And I think that's what I love about the film the most. Yes, there are some funny scenes in the film, but most films are made to be happy all the time and even more often, the films are always having a happy ending. But if we're being honest with ourselves, life isn't always happy. And the Banshees of Inner Shiren keep it real that sometimes you just have to let go. And it's up to you if you want that defining moment in life to be the end or the start of your next chapter. So do I recommend this film? Absolutely. The casting is incredible along with all the supporting actors. They were just all spot on. The script was brilliant and it's certainly a contender for one of the best films of the year in my opinion. But I want to hear what your opinion is. If you like this film or if you didn't, whatever those thoughts are, leave them in the comments down below. And if you haven't already, please like this video, subscribe, hit that notification icon down below so you know when I'm going live or dropping new content. And I want to thank you guys so much for joining me here today on Feature Junkie.